Welcome to Max in 5, I'm going to teach you some cool stuff inside 3ds Max in under 5 minutes. The first thing we need to know is the button for the layers tab and it's this button right here. Toggle layer explorer, now if you activate it, wherever it pops up on your screen, mine is located right over here. So organizing layers is really really important if you want a really fast workflow and to manage your scenes. So the first thing we need to do is obviously realize what we want to put inside each group. For this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these spheres right over there. Now there's a couple of ways of organizing your scenes with layers. I'm going to show you a couple of cool tricks. The first one is select everything that you want. You'll notice that it is in the default layer. Remember, you cannot rename or delete this layer. It is standard inside Max. If I open up the layer with that little arrow over there, you'll see that I've selected all of my spheres. Now, another way to select items is obviously inside the layers. If I select one, hold in shift, click the last one, it'll select all of these items. Now the best way to organize layers is to first select all of your items and then press this button right over there that says create new layer. The items that are selected will go into the new layer that you're creating. So one, two, three, click, there it is right over there, layer 001. I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna say rename. Let's call this sphere and then we can hide and unhide that layer, easy stuff. If you prefer to create the layer first, you can do that making sure that nothing is selected. I'm going to use the same button, create new layer. It creates an empty layer. Let's call this box. Now the layer is empty. We know this because there is no arrow next to it. The eye icon is obviously telling us to switch it on and off. And then the icon next to that is the layers icon. Now the reason this one is blue is to indicate this is the active layer. If the active layer needs to be the spheres, you obviously click on that little button right over there. Now that's really important because when you are adding or creating something new, it will automatically go into the active layer. For example, the box layer is active. I'm going to create a new box. I've got a cool shortcut for you. If you're holding the control and right click, you get this little menu over here, allowing me to create very simple items. I'm going to create a sphere. And as I create the sphere and let go, notice we have an arrow there. Notice the sphere is inside that layer. So remember, the active layer is very important. Whatever you create will get put into that layer. If your layer is hidden, so I'm going to delete this. If your layer is hidden just like that and I try create something, I get an error saying objects cannot be created on a hidden layer. So you can choose to abort the creation or unhide the layer. If we unhide the layer, you'll see that the eye icon appears, meaning the layer is now visible. So the next important thing knowing that the active layer is this one over here is that we can select items just like this and then we can select this button right over there which says add to active layer. So making sure that the box is the active layer, click in this button over there, one, two, three, click, everything goes inside that layer and then we can close it. Another cool feature with the layers tab is this menu right over here. This allows us to filter out what we do and do not want to see. For example, the very top one says display geometry. Now if I click that button, have a look what disappears. The cylinders disappear, the tubes disappear, and the boxes and spheres will actually disappear. And that's because these are all geometry items. Underneath that is shapes. So we are looking at all these circles, they will definitely disappear. Next is lights, so if we look over here, these lights will disappear. And remember, it's not hiding them in your viewport at all, the items are still here. It's just minimizing what you see in your layers tab to help you find what you're looking for. Next is cameras, obviously it'll hide the cameras, and then it goes into helpers and display warps and so on and so forth. So make sure all of these are active if you want to see everything that is inside your actual layers tab. Another way to organize your layers is as follows, if we create a new layer, and let's call this one tube. What we can do is we can select the items just like that. We can click and drag into the actual layer we want and then let go. So there's another way of adding things. And remember inside layers, you can either switch off the layer completely or individual items. And remember this as well. If you are hiding the item, it is hidden in the viewport, which means it's hidden in the render.